What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a full in-depth review of Backtrader, an open source Python library that allows you to backtest, optimize, and run trading strategies live in live markets, okay? Backtrader is great because it allows you full customization when it comes to backtesting, charting, optimizing, and even running strategies live where you get kind of access to the full suite. One of the main benefits of using Backtrader is obviously it's free. You get more customization versus say a paid platform such as NinjaTrader or MetaTrader. And it's all in Python, which has a lot of great libraries when it comes to uh, trading, AI, and machine learning. So Backtrader was started probably about four to five years ago, according to their, their GitHub records. And it has a lot of, lot of uh, cool features that come out of the box, okay? One of the main features, obviously, is backtesting, okay? You're able to generate a rule set, right? Rules for your strategy, code it, and run a backtest to see how it would do in a historical timeline, okay? It also has optimization, where you can now optimize that strategy and try every single variable or parameter to give you the best result. These features all come out of the box. It also has charting where you can see the entries and exits for your trades, as well as the candlesticks, or you can do line graphs. There's a lot of customization when it comes to the charting aspect. You can even take it a step further, and there's also uh, even th more libraries that are built on top of Backtrader where you can get live trading, live charting, where you can run your strategy live and actually stream data to that chart uh, using either Matplotlib or the Bokeh charting library. Backtrader supports a lot of brokers outside of the box, but a lot of the libraries are developed by other people. So you need to take it with a grain of salt and definitely do some testing and making sure that, you know, those GitHub repos are are built out of the box. So out of the box, it supports interactive brokers, which is very important. That's probably the most you know popular worldwide brokerage out there. It supports stuff like uh, Pandas data with CSV, it supports Yahoo Finance, um, it supports Oanda, and there's also a lot of other libraries developed by other people that you can integrate, including Alpaca and even CCXT, which supports a lot of cryptocurrency brokers, such as Binance, Coinbase, etc. So basically, out of the box, there's a lot of brokers that it supports. One of the main brokers that it doesn't support is TD Ameritrade. Um, of course, you could you know build your own library to integrate that, and I've done that for some of my clients for custom solutions. Um, but that you know is one of the cons. Some of the brokers it doesn't support, and you're gonna have to code that yourself. Of course, because since they already have interactive brokers built in, you can kind of look at their source code for the interactive brokers data, copy it over, and make changes as necessary to get it working for your brokerage. And that's what I did for TD Ameritrade. Backtrader also has what's called analyzers, which are metrics on how your backtest or real-time trading is doing. They have a lot of common metrics like sharp ratio, drawdown, win-loss ratio, etc. Benchmark your strategies as well. When you run a backtest, you can actually code your own benchmark, such as buy and hold the, the asset or buy and hold the S&P 500 index, and easily code that in as what it's called as an observer. And you can actually track and benchmark your current strategy versus say buy and hold or buy and hold the S&P 500. This is a really good feature. And of course it's not really, you know, it is built in out of the, it does come standard. Um, you do have to code it of course, but stuff like NinjaTrader doesn't even have this feature where you can't benchmark your current strategy with the current timeline. So this is something really cool. And once again, one of the benefits of Backtrader, uh, the customization. Now on the screen, here's a simple SMA crossover strategy with Backtrader. You can see that, you know, it doesn't take a lot of lines of code to run a back test and you can kind of understand how it works. You have kind of two classes here, the actual instantiating the back test and then the actual strategy. And most of your logic happens in the next method here. Once again, Backtrader has a lot of features out of the box, but because it's open source, there is a lot of customization you have to do. There is a lot of code and setup you have kind of have to write. And it's a little bit more time consuming than, you know, going on to say, you know, a platform like NinjaTrader or MetaTrader, where a lot of the stuff is streamlined. So that's kind of the trade-offs that you get with Backtrader. Of course, there's more customization, so you can do a lot of cooler stuff, but there is a, a bit more work and a bit more code you have to set up to get it working how you want it to get it. Backtrader also supports a lot of indicators out of the box, such as simple moving average, parabolic SAR, and many, many others. They also support the TA lib, third-party Python library when it comes to technical analysis. So they probably support, I would say, probably 100 to 150 indicators right out of the box. Um, and then you can obviously code your own indicators as well using their library. So definitely very, very powerful stuff. Um, 
and you know for an open source library it's definitely the best out there i would say when it comes to trading ccxt is also pretty good as well but backtrader i think you know overall is pretty good there's a couple libraries you're going to need if you want to go into live trading and live charting um mainly backtrader underscore plotting and bt plotting if you want to go live and see the chart live um but backtrader has a lot a lot of features out of the box and i think it's if you know if you're looking for a free solution and a lot of customizability, it's the way to go. But let's talk about the cons of Backtrader and what you know sort of things is missing. So obviously, as I mentioned before, it's missing some brokerages that you'll have to code yourself, mainly one of them being TD Ameritrade or use TD Ameritrade, but there is no kind of data connection for them. So I had to code that from scratch myself. It took me about two to three days to do. It wasn't crazy long, but you know, if you're using TD Ameritrade, it won't work out of the box and you'll have to code your own data feed. Obviously, they support a lot of brokerages um, out of the box, like I said, like Interactive Brokers, Alpaca, that sort of thing. So you can use those. You can just, you know, find those accounts instead. But if you want to use maybe a lesser known brokerage, you probably will have to code it. One of the cons uh, of Backtrader doesn't have data caching. So when you backtest or you run, a you run a live strategy, it won't download the data and cache it for later use for, you know, speed purposes and performance purposes. So basically, every time you run a backtest, it queries the data feed server and then runs the back test. So it can take a lot of time. I built my own caching system where anytime I run a back test the first time, it will download the data. And then if I run a back test subsequently after, uh, it will be a lot faster because the data will be locally downloaded on my computer and the back test or optimization will run a lot faster. So that's something I had to build myself. It wasn't very hard, but you know, that's a feature that you do have to build. Um, I also, when you're running the optimizer, it can use multiple processor threads, but when it comes to interactive brokers, it can only use one because the data feed can't actually be what's called pickled or cached. So I, you know, adding that data caching also speeded up my optimizer because I was able to use all, um, all cores in my processor to run the optimization. One thing that Backtrader doesn't come with is walk forward optimization, which is a huge aspect of building strategies and seeing the strength of your strategy. So that's something I had to code myself. Um, you know, it doesn't come out of the box from Backtrader and, you know, obviously walk forward is pretty much the gold standard, at least a good starting point when it comes to seeing if strategy is strong. So that's something you have to code yourself. Obviously, it's not too hard. You would have to kind of, you know, use their built-in optimizer for a time frame and then have a test period where you would save those parameters and run them for the test period. If you're an intermediate or expert coder, you know, Backtrader is great, but if you're a beginner coder, you know, it may be overwhelming and commercial solutions such as NinjaTrader, TradeStation, MetaTrader would probably be, be a better option for you. Backtrader is better for intermediate to expert developers that are maybe building custom solutions uh, for either themselves or other clients where they need specific features that, you know, something else doesn't have, okay? Lastly, uh, another con of Backtrader, it doesn't have genetic optimization, which some people may use, some people may not. But basically when you optimize, it tries every single value. And sometimes you wanna run it genetically where you're only taking maybe, you know, the previous best performance and then, you know, slightly modifying those values. So um, this is a more advanced topic, but that's something it doesn't have. If you look in their forums and their community threads, there is a couple um, users that have posted uh, some sample code. So definitely a lot of sample code you can find that can help you get started. But that's something it doesn't come with out of the box. Overall, Backtrader is solid. I mean, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 for the open source portion. I mean, it has so many features out of the box. I think it's a great platform to start. But once again, if you're a beginner trader, beginner coder especially, it's going to be a bit overwhelming for you and I wouldn't recommend it. This is more for intermediate to expert coders that are looking for that fine-tuning fine customization um, and maybe want a lot of features that something like a paid platform does not have. Overall, definitely give it a look. Check out their website, backtrader.com and their GitHub as well. They have a lot of samples and example code to help you get started and you can take a look for yourself and see what you think. Anyways, I hope you found value in this video, guys. I personally use Backtrader myself. Comment below if you use Backtrader or you like it or you don't like it. I like to hear your thoughts and concerns. Anyways, have a good one, guys. We'll see you next week.